Hi, I'm E.T. Lewis, and welcome back to my channel, and back for another Nocturnal Review, which is literally being filmed at night this time, since sometimes I uh, don't get to actually film at night, so it's kind of nice. Alright, so what am I reviewing? Oh, well, first, before we get to that, I want to make a quick uh, update. So I'm taking part in Garbagist, and uh, I wasn't originally planning to. I was just going to be a viewer. I was just going to watch uh, everybody's Garbagist and, you know, get the enjoyment that way. But I changed my mind, and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going to take part in it, because I kind of ran into a little bit of a reading crisis. I'm like, what am I going to read? Well, this gave me things to read. It helped me to pick things out, so I'm, I'm glad that I'm participating. Um, I did participate just a little bit last year, but more this year. So, um, I've already completed my first read for Garbagist, and um, I'm not going to say much about it. It's Lady Chatterley's Lover. Uh... I, it had been something that had been suggested that I check out sometime, and I finally decided to do so. Um, and I found out that it was a banned book, well, I can't understand why. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say much about that, because that's going to end up in my blog. Next, I'll be starting my next read, which is going to be a paperback from hell. Uh, so, you know, 70s, 80s, early 90s type read um, that's horror, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that a, a secret what that's going to be. And then the other book I was thinking about reading, I'm planning on switching out. I was going to do uh, something a little spicy, but I think I'm going to go in another direction with it. So uh, I'm still thinking about that. Anyway, so let's get to the review. So what am I reviewing? I'm reviewing the Oval Portrait. It is a short story by Edgar Allan Poe, and it was written in 1842. It is a not very, it's not a very long story at all. I literally read it during my lunch break from, from beginning to end. It didn't take too long. Um, it's not that many pages. It's about uh, an unnamed narrator, <laughs> like a lot of uh, post stories it seems like, um, is traveling with his servant. He's injured and they spend the night in this house. And in the room he's in, he starts uh, uh, examining all the portraits. Well, he just stumbles upon one that's kind of hiding in the, you know, in the darkness. The candle, the candlelight reveals it, and it's this oval portrait of this young woman, uh, kind of a bust, so like shoulders up, uh, view of her. And it's amazing that this portrait is so uh, lifelike. It's like she's alive. So he ends up uh, reading about it in this book that's in the, in his room. So it tells the story of the artist who is painting it. He was painting his, uh, I think she was his wife. I don't think she was his fiance. I think she was his wife. And something happens during this, and I can't tell you what it is without spoiling the story. I was, ca you know, it, it was one of those that you start catching on, but it's, uh, and you can probably figure what's going to happen. But it's still rather horrific, you know, even, you know, anticipating it, you know, when it actually happens. So, a uh, pretty good story. I think I gave it four stars. If I'm incorrect, I will have it uh, pop on the screen. Um, now, recently I did watch a film adaptation that is out there called The Oval Portrait, which came out in the 1970s, 1973. And I think it was a Spanish-made film and it's very clearly dubbed. It doesn't have a whole lot to do with the original story except for the thing about the portrait, and there's the spirit of a woman who the portrait is of who's haunting the house and haunting those who knew her in life, and there's a, a whole backstory with it. The portrait does have this very lifelike um, appearance, but it goes in a completely different direction. I didn't personally care for it, and there was a few moments that I'm like, hmm, I cannot unsee that now. <laughs> it was a little, kind of was like a little, ooh. But um, if you've seen it, you might know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so that is my review. I hope everybody's having a great Garbagist. And um, yeah, we're getting ready to go into week two. This video is going to come out the weekend after I'm filming this, because I'm literally filming this uh, at the end of week one. So... Um, yeah. 
so I will be at the end of week two when this comes out. So anyway, I uh, hope everybody's having a great month. Remember to stay safe, stay spooky, and until next time.